hello everybody welcome back to my channel it is a beautiful saturday morning and this video today is going to contain information on how i obtained my master's degree in nursing for free yes you heard me correctly free of cost i paid nothing out of pocket for tuition i think the only thing i had to come out of pocket for was i purchased my books and i believe that i paid all of my graduation fees out of my own pocket but as far as the tuition which in the end totaled i think thirty three thousand dollars i paid none of that the state of maryland basically ate that bill for me and let me tell you how and Across why. the US, there is a faculty shortage. A lot of nurses are not going into nursing education. And because of that, there are states and a lot of organizations are trying to woo nurses to come into academia so that way they can teach and hopefully advance the profession more and more and more. The only catch is that nursing education does not pay. I mean, it is no secret that if you go ahead and obtain an advanced degree and you become a full-time faculty member, you will not be making any money. As a matter of fact, most of the nurses, when most of the nursing professors, when I was enrolled in nursing school, most of them worked still in a hospital to supplement their income as a full-time faculty member because the money was just not enough and it still is not enough. And if you know anything about academia and working in academia, full-time nursing faculty, they have a lot of demands to meet. For example, a lot of them have to do grant writing. There's research that they need to attend, conferences. Then they're obviously they're lecturing in the classroom. There's a lot of student issues that come up. They have to be present for office hours. So it is a lot of work for very little coins. And like I said, a lot of nurses are not that's not the route they're going. Most nurses who go back to obtain an advanced degree, they are looking to see how they can capitalize and maximize they, their potential earnings. So nurses are going back to get their nurse practitioner degrees or they're going into nurse anesthetist school. Some nurses are even going into business or administration because there is more money in those I areas. I learned about a grant that the state of Maryland had and it was called the Han and Joe Cohen nurse faculty shortage assistance grant and basically what this grant said if you apply and you get approved we will pay for you to go to school we will cover the entire tuition and give you a stipend and you can pursue any advanced degree in nursing that you want so you could essentially go to school and get a master's degree in any of the specialties you could have done administration education any one of the nurse practitioners even certified registered nurse anesthetist, you could have pursued that as well. You also could have obtained a DMP degree or even a PhD degree, so long as you promised upon receiving degree, the degree and graduating, you would teach for any nursing program within the state of Maryland. So I heard that and I said, okay, let me make sense of this. So you're gonna pay for my tuition and all I have to do is teach for a certain amount of time and any nursing program in the state of Maryland. So I'm going to get paid for teaching in addition to receiving a free degree, sign for the grant, and I was approved for the money. So let me just try to explain how the money, how it was determined. If you made $75,000 a year and less, they would pay for your tuition and they would give you a living stipend every semester. Now, for me, I didn't qualify for the stipend. I did qualify for the tuition. That's because the years that I applied, I earned more than $75,000 a year because your girl is a hustler and was picking up all the overtime shifts. And I didn't really, it didn't bother me at all because I'm like, at least the main thing, I wouldn't have to take out any school loans and my tuition would be covered. Now, there were also stipulations, for example, if you were married and made a certain amount they would then pay for the tuition and for your stipend but it depended on how much money you and your spouse made so basically that was it I received a grant and I was super excited I was already I had already applied to the school and gained admission so even better the school that I attended was a private Catholic University here in Maryland and the name of that university is Notre Dame of Maryland University I basically went to class for two years, one day a week. Every Thursday evening, classes would go from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. I did that for two years, and after that, I earned my MSN in nursing education. Let me go ahead and explain a little bit more of the commitment. So, and 
my memory is a little bit foggy. I don't have any of the paperwork kind of detailing the exact commitment that you had to sign up for once you accepted the money and graduated, but I believe this is how it went. So for every year that they paid for you to go to school full time, you had to teach two years for every year that you went to school full time. For every year that you went to school part time, you had to give them back a year and a half. So I went to school part time. The program was two years. So in total, I would have owed them three years of teaching. But I surpassed that. Like I tripled that because I've taught for the past nine years. Majority of my teaching has been as a clinical instructor at local hospitals here in the state of Maryland, where I would take a group of students to the hospital and basically supervise them so that way they can acquire clinical skills and clinical knowledge. Now, there was one time, one semester, the school asked me to teach in their Arm to BSN program, and I did that, but that was not my favorite, simply because a lot of nurses at the time who was enrolled in the RN to BSN, a lot of them were really bitter that they had to come back to school, which I don't blame them because they already knew how to nurse. A lot of them had been nurses for like 20, 25 years, and now they're sitting in a classroom with 30-something-year-old me, early 30-something-year-old me, telling them about issues and trends in nursing or statistics or even research in nursing. So they were not too happy. So needless to say, I myself did not really prefer teaching the RN to BSN cohorts. I much more preferred teaching as a clinical instructor. I've gotten a lot of people saying things to me like, oh my goodness, you actually like teaching. I can't teach, teach, I can't stand teaching. I don't like students. I don't like the patients or not patients. I don't like the students. And I would hear things like, you're a clinical instructor, but I hear educators don't make any money. Or if you go into education, you don't make any money. I think I mentioned earlier on in the video that yes, full-time faculty may not make a lot of money. However, as a clinical instructor, I think I benefited greatly financially because here's the thing. As a clinical instructor, I had a lot of autonomy, meaning that the school basically gave me the objectives that they needed the students to meet by the end of the clinical rotation. And I had to find ways to ensure that they were meeting the goals and the objectives. The school never told me exactly what I needed to do on this specific day. I would basically take my students to clinical and I would create the experiences for them. I had a lot of autonomy as to, to say, you know, whether or not we were going to be given medications, not given medications, whether or not we would leave the floor early or come on the floor a little bit later, depending on what activities I had planned for them. And on top of that, I thought that I made pretty good money as a clinical instructor. Let's, let me give you an example. Community college, in my opinion, seems to pay more than actual, than universities. Like I think I made more money working for the community colleges, but here's an example of a contract. So one of the local community colleges here in Maryland, if I taught for them, if I did a six week clinical for them twice a week for six weeks, I believe that I would get a check for like, my contract would be $7,200 in total for six weeks. So to me, that was not bad at all because it was light work. I used my brain more so than my, you know, it was not as physical as it would have been working on the floor. So I felt like that was equal. Here I am as a clinical instructor. I got my master's degree paid for by the state of Maryland. And in turn, I'm teaching, but I'm also getting paid to teach. So that's how I kind of made sense of it. So I would tell people like, listen, if teaching is not for you, that's fine. You don't have to get into it. However, when you see me with my students, don't speak negatively of them or don't speak negative to, negatively to me about nursing education simply because as nurses, none of us would have gotten to where we are without nurse educators choosing to go into aspect. The one thing I would have done differently, to be quite honest with you, is that at the time, the grant stated that you can pursue any advanced degree in nursing as long as you promise to teach. I chose nursing education as my specialty. However, now that I've been a nurse for 12 years, I realize now that I necessarily did not have to do a nursing education degree. I should have done a nurse practitioner degree because guess what? 
I am back in school right now doing a post master certificate as a family nurse practitioner. At that time though, when I made the decision, I did not have enough insight, nor did I have mentorship. So I chose nursing education. However, it is my belief that you don't necessarily need a nursing education degree to be a clinical instructor. What you need is to have a love for teaching, patience, a desire to see students come into the profession and succeed, and experience, a good bit of nursing experience, because then you can transfer all of that knowledge onto these blank states, slates, AKA the students. And uh, yeah, I didn't need a nursing degree. I should have done a family nurse practitioner degree back then. And guess what? It would have been completely paid for by the state. I would have had an advanced practice clinical degree and still could have taught clinicals. So I usually tell people if they're asking me about my master's and whether or not they should go back to school and get a master's degree, of course, I highly, I highly encourage advancing your education and continuing to strive for more and more education so that way you can climb the, climb the ranks or have better satisfaction or whatever it is that you're trying to pursue. I highly encourage it. However, when people ask me specifically about nursing education, I always tell them, remember, you do not need an education degree to teach, but you do have to love teaching. Because if teaching is not something that you love, then you should not do it, especially in nursing, because nursing students do not need to have instructors that do not enjoy teaching. They do not need the fear. They do not need the gaslighting that some instructors try to impose on them. So that is just a piece of advice that I have. If you are interested in obtaining an advanced degree in nursing, I highly encourage you all to look at your state's higher education commission. For example, here in the state of Maryland, it is called MHEC, Maryland Higher Education Commission. That is where you will find a lot of information on grants and scholarships, especially for those, especially scholarships and grants, encouraging nurses to go back to school to become an educator. So just go to your state's website and look and see what they have as far as higher education is concerned. Specifically look for grants and scholarships that support nursing education and you should, you know, hopefully you find something there. Hopefully you apply for it. Hopefully you do have a deep love for, for nursing so that way you can, you know, help advance the profession. Anyway, if you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and drop them in the comment box below. Go ahead, like, follow, subscribe to my channel. Let me know of some other nursing related topics you guys might want to see me do on here. If not, I am out. Going to go ahead and get some work done because I have a paper that is due tonight from one of my classes that I am taking right now. Like I said, I'm pursuing a family nurse practitioner certificate. It's a postmaster certificate. So thank you guys for watching. See you again.